Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to talk about my portfolio projects. So the first question that one of the commenter asked is, uh, why did you choose sports dramas? Well, the reason why we want to choose sports dramas is that if we, if the sports drama is done correctly, it can have a huge potential of money. And for example, in the US, around 154 million people have watched live sports at least once in a month. So with that number, that basically means we have a huge potential to have a huge audience members. And also, experts forecast that the number is about to rise to 160 million by 2024. Another reason why we wanted to do a uh, sports drama is because, is, first of all, is a wildly successful movie called The Blind Side that shows the reality of playing a, be, uh, pursuing your sport and the hurdles that one has to overcome to play uh, their sport that they're so passionate about. And we think this is a perfect fit um, for our movie because Gabriel has a bunch of hurdles that he has to come overcome as well. For example, one of the hurdles that he has to overcome is his mother wanting him to pursue sp uh, his grades rather than pursuing his sports full time. And another hurdle that he has to jump over is that his parents don't really believe that he's that good at sports. So really, Gabriel is by himself, and that is that can be devastating to someone who's trying to pursue, um, pursue his uh, sport that he's so passionate about. Another question that a commenter has asked is, how does your product use or challenge conventions, and how does it represent social groups or issues? So I think our product challenges conventions because you don't see many movies where the character is middle, middle class or upper class. So or mi upper middle class. So we chose we chose this character because we think that the um, target our target audience many of them are also in the middle class. So we think that if we uh, show a character that is from the middle class, we also think that um, many of the audience members could relate to our our character our main character. And I think it's um it's a it's an issue because not many not many people in the middle class get um. Representation. I feel like it's either a lot of the very lower class or uh, the higher class, not really in the middle. So I think this would be a great way to change the narrative and have someone who's an ordinary kid who's just trying to pursue his passion of playing soccer. We also chose um, Gabriel to be a guy for the reason that 76% of the people who actually watch sports are male. So we think that if we have a male character to play a sports drama then many many of the guys who actually watch normal sports will come to watch the movie as well and that could bring in a lot of a lot of revenue the next the next question that a commenter commented for me to answer is um how does your product engage with audiences and how would it be distri just distributed as a real media text so we think the product engages with the audience because the character is a teenager that's a a teen boy so we think that this would engage with the audience because many of the kids many teen boys play sports play soccer and soccer is one of the one of the many sports that are really popular in America so we think that if we show a teen boy who's middle class has is basically a normal kid that wants to pursue sports but his parents don't agree with him we think that many of the audience members will actually um, put the put the, put themselves in the shoes of Gabriel and for the distribution, I think that obviously the main distribution place that we would uh, put our, our project in is definitely YouTube. And that is because YouTube is definitely the most popular place where video media is being distributed. And we also agreed that Facebook is one of, one of, a, one of the platforms that we want to put our uh, media in. And that is because these kids will probably watch the, the movie with their parents or their dad. And we want like a nice father-son bonding experience. And if we have Facebook, Facebook mostly has uh, adults watching it. So if the dad sees an advertisement on Facebook and he's like, hey, let's go watch this. Let's go watch the movie on Sunday. And he says it to his son. And then that will have a huge amount of um, audiences, a huge, huge amount of reach to audience members. And for the last platform that we want to launch our, launch our media, I mean, 
launch our portfolio project in is definitely TikTok. So TikTok is the fastest growing app currently and every single team that I know has TikTok. So we think that so if we have it on TikTok that it will have a huge growth, huge growth. And we will definitely see a huge amount of people seeing it on TikTok and that will definitely bring in a lot of revenue since a lot of people will see it on TikToks. Another question that a commenter asked is, how did your production skills develop this project? So my develop my um, production skills definitely developed during this project because before I used to do a lot of projects by myself. I didn't really want to work with others, but I wanted to give this a new chance to work with others. So since we're in a group, we, we always had to communicate with each other when people were available to, um, to, to link up and uh, start filming. So my communication skills definitely has improved since I can't just go by myself and say, hey, go this hour or else we can't film. I had to make sure every single person was ready to film. So since we had a, a messaging group chat, we just messaged them, say, hey, when is it okay for you guys to film? Is this okay? And yeah, so since um, another uh, development skill that definitely improved is um, acting. I have never been an actor. I have never wanted to be an actor. I've always been behind the camera or either editing the film. But I wanted to give this acting, uh, acting a shot. And I, it took a while for me to get comfortable on the camera, being in front of a camera, and not being nervous. But after a while, after many retries, I finally got, got to the point where I was able to film in front of uh, a camera. And the last skill is uh, my Foley skills. So I've never done Foley until I took this class. And Isaac wanted me to do a couple of sounds, like for example, kicking the ball, looking through my backpack, and and walking with the backpack and it was actually way more simpler than I thought it would be because I went since I learned in the class I thought it would be this I can't do this it would be too hard for me but after doing it I was like hey that's not so bad so yeah my Foley skills has definitely improved and the last question that a commenter asked is how did you integrate technology such as software hardware and stuff online in this project so one of the softwares that we used was a uh, Google Docs Google Docs definitely helped us make this happen, make this project happen. So what we do is we had a, a Google Doc where everyone was added and we would type in the script and the storyboard and basically plan the entire filming process through Google Docs since we all could type on it. I also use voice memos um, to help me film because for the full each side of things, I use the voice memos to record um, me, for example, kicking a ball, footsteps, me looking through my bag, all that and then I sent it to the iMessaging group chat which leads to the second thing that we use the second software that we used we use iMessaging group chat to communicate uh, when people could film when people could meet up what what they were gonna do what are, what are the ideas and basically iMessage and Google Docs were definitely the two important things that basically made this project happen and the last hardware the last thing that we used was uh, the iPhone 13 the iPhone 13 was an amazing camera and it was really good for someone as for a project that's low budget like this like we could just we all had an iPhone so we all could just film on our iPhones and yeah I want to thank Cambridge for giving me the opportunity to um, basically do this project it definitely helped my skills improve my communication my teamwork my editing skills my acting skills and all that so I just want to thank everyone for helping me thank my group and yeah thank you peace out